If you think this is sad, you're right. This action causes me physical pain. Because it took forever to get these things down. Ugh. All because I didn't want to make this many hoppers. I haven't gone back yet. I decided to record myself from digging it all out. See, I stayed out of the wood. Which is why I'm not picking up these rails now that I just think about that. Yeah. I don't even know how many tracks this was. I ain't building a gold farm. No. I'm not putting up with this on pigment. You got me obsidian mining. Oh god, the obsidian mining. Who has the patience for that nonsense? I don't. Even with the finish of C5. In the beacon. Ugh. Well, with the beacon, it wouldn't be so bad, but I don't have a functional obsidian generator in 1.8. Uh, I just don't know of one. Uh, so, last time I heard the, uh, the standard uh, redstone or uh, string into. The string into obsidian trick is long since patched. They fixed it. Which is a damn shame, because that had been around so long that a lot of us have just figured it was never going to be fixed. Blame you, Ginnerbone. I don't even know why. I guess it played Jeb, too. I blame not to be sold out, so, you know. He wasn't running things over there anyway. He was just pulling the strings and making the money. Dick move, man. Dick move. Alright. I think I've cleaned this all up. I need to get the reason to walk back. And the final total is... Oop, not sweet. And the final total is... Huh. Felt like more to me. Felt like more. Oh, okay, it was more. Yeah, that, that, that sounds right. Actually, I wasn't using that crap set. But yeah, that seems better, yeah. Alright, let's go get the... I get the iron before I go. Junk out of my pockets. Any more junk? Keep the birch stockings. Who knows? Might need more birch. Do you have one of. I, th I think I left a whole bunch of seven on the ground, too. Yeah. Do I want to read the bunch of wisdom the hoppers over there? I don't know. See you when I see you.
Oh, il est cute. Oh. Il est Yep. Yep. Alright, so what we got right here is five stacks of iron ingots. Alright. Yep, iron farm. That's what you do. Let's just start making some chests. Our plan basically is convert most of this over into wood. Put the wood on a table. Make 64 chests at a time. And then make 64 hoppers. That's probably not going to be enough, to be honest with you. I just a bunch of birch wood. I went crazy over there. Yeah, it's probably not going to be enough, but you know what? We're going to give it a shot. First things first. Unfortunately, I no longer know where the end is because I filled in the gap. Idiot boy. There was two blocks back there, so. Yeah, so we'll put this one, two, three, four. And that's going to be the line. I'm determined with the fact that I'm probably going to have no iron by the time I'm done this. This five stacks seem like so much. Ha! <laughs> uh, that never gets old. And again, I forgot I had all those hoppers from before. I would much rather have used the unloading system. I'm really disappointed that, that didn't work. I do not know why it didn't. wasn't even half enough. Oh, I'm just gonna have to go get all of it. Alright, I'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is all the iron I have. I mean it. That's every single ingot, including all the ore. I had that base and I smelted that down. This is it. There's nothing left back there. Yeah. Here we go. This isn't going to be a problem for me down the line. I know it. Luckily, with that iron farm, most of my iron supply will be generated by itself, and I won't have to do much. But, um,. Yeah, it's not good right now. There is nothing left back at base. I'm not gonna lie, that does not make me feel good. <laughs> Kinda makes me feel nervous. That's another 64 right there. Because I understand just how much iron this takes. Still go more, but I want to use what I have first. I do not want to make extras. Though I do need more hoppers. Oh man. This 
this is such a bad idea. Not doing it. No way. I'm gonna make that water channel. That means I won't be getting injured with this, but you know what? Yeah, I can still use all these hoppers for my sorting system. So it's not a loss there. And if I just put them all in this, I, I just. I can't justify that to myself. It's not worth getting into pearls, okay? It's just not. I'll build an Enderman farm. I'd rather do that. <laughs> and I know there's some stupid reason why my unloader was not working. Something painfully stupid that someone's going to point out to me. So instead, we're just going to do the water system. Yeah. Because I cannot in good conscience use all of my iron for this. It's just not a good idea. I'm going back to base. Uh, see you in a minute. I hope you understand the plan now. No. I just realized I gotta sink this down by one. Or does it magically float? So let's start by placing this water down. I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out once I start placing here. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. what I was worried about. I could raise it up on the back. That really won't give me much gain, really. The problem with doing this is it's moving my AFK spot. And there is a very specific spot I need to be in this to work properly. If I'm not in that particular spot, let's just say there's a good chance that some of the farm above me will not work. I'm gonna have to do some counting to make sure that's not the case. Some of you would be thinking, Morin, since you're digging this out, could you at least change out the floor and make it look nicer? I really don't want to. <laughs> I just want to put a cap over it and not have to worry about this at all. But, you're probably right. With water canals, you're going to be able to see it, and that means... Yeah, I'm going to decorate the floor. But I'll do that once I get the water done, okay? Deal? I got deal? Okay. Because I gotta make sure this is gonna work here. Get the cactus in the right spot. Currently, I'm very unhappy.
It's gonna have to go down by one more, I know it. Okay, hold on a second. If you ever encounter a problem like that with water, the easiest solution is just remove the water and reset it. Yes, I thought. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Across now. All the way across. Okay, that is bizarre. Okay. Alright, I want to do some digging and get it back. Leave no ore behind. Okay, uh. Just gonna knock out these real quick. There we go. Let's see something is wrong here. I got a hole there. And I know I got an extra spot over here that was dirt. Yeah, it's still got a problem. Hold there. I can't see the dang thing. Uh, there's kind of something there. Most of the time you're being slowed down by that torch. Another one. <sighs> this should be the last time I've been down one. I hope. I just need to get the corner bits to this line. Ah! Out of here. I think I'm too close. The fact that they're spawning tells me at least one of those chambers up there is active. I'm not sure which one, though. They should all be active while I currently am.
those blocks. I hope you're all seeing what I'm doing. It's difficult to explain. But basically, what's going to happen here is on each one of these locations there are going to be cactus. And those cactus will kill mobs with lots of ease. And every time they kill a mob, they're going to drop their baby in these hunters. Now, it's actually kind of fitting that Data likes to use these kind of traps, because this is a Daedalus farm. So it's sort of an homage. We'll just go with the cactus bit. I did not want to use cactus for this, to be honest with you. I've already got my cactus zombie grinder, so I've already done the cactus bit. I had to pretty much de-cactus the, the entire desert to get this much cactus. You was one cut for me, it was a couple days. Nah, I'm not gonna build the rest of them. I'm gonna keep this much cactus. I can farm it later that way. Look at all these mine carts. Alright, there we go. Now, here's the bad bit. 
I gotta go over there. Knock that all out. And make sure it flows in properly. I know what you're thinking. Mori, isn't there a risk you're gonna lose some items this way? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. The reason I say that is because this water is a little close to the cactus. But I think I'm in the right spot here and I can't really go back much further. Because I'm getting close to water. Alright. Alright. That should be good. So the next time you see me, I'll be putting the shell on this thing and getting it turned on for the first time, getting that torch out of there too. So until then, here's my sword. Ugh. I'm Mori Shep, and I'll see you when I see you. Pretty sure I got everything in this area. Okay. Back up to the original entry point here. You can tell I put these stairs on from underneath. I originally dropped down through water that was coming down over here. <laughs> Straight on down. And where are we, you may ask? Why? We're right here. That's a view. So not a whole lot of time passes. I was coming back up. And you saw me weed down there. But a lot of time has passed over here. Now you may recall that after some experimentation we decided that the hopper minecart plan, which was the original plan, wasn't gonna fly. Boy, literally, I was having issues with the hopper and I mean the minecarts stopping and unloading properly. For some reason, my unloader mechanism was not working. And that was really, really irritating. Because I've used unloaders before, and they normally work really, really well. Yeah. So we've gone with the Daedalus Cactus of Doom method. Which is fitting. Because this is a Daedalus design. So how this works is, there is a row of hoppers that run all the way along. And hoppers in between. Now the ones that are in between point into the massive hopper chain. The massive hopper chain... Comes down here. And enters into that... Right there. So that is a dropper. Now behind this wall, which I have conveniently hidden from your view, Sorry for that. Is a basic hopper clock. And it's just a redstone comparator or a heater 
two redstone bees that come out of it, one loops around back into the character, one loops back into this block. Okay? With a repeater here too. And it causes this thing to fire non-stop when items fall in front. Which I want to demonstrate with these useless loose, useless bones. And your girl bones. Once they are dispensed, they float up the, of course, magical elevator. Ta-da! And up here, back of my hand. Magic, magic, magic. Yeah. So, this still works. This works, but hopper and detector rails... I mean, hopper and unloaders don't. Weird. So, basically, this is the AFK point at this point. And I'm gonna just... Build myself a little cocoon. It'll be better than cobblestone, obviously. And I'll just camp here. Things will spawn up there. Die down there. That's the plan. But that's a little ways off. Before this thing will start really kicking over, I really, 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 really to get up there and get rid of that light source. You can see it, can't you? Yeah. And put the shell in this thing. I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna go to another nerd pull up. Right on this side, and uh, begin work on that. First, I gotta get all this goodies out of my pockets. They're wondering. These are all the goodies we have so far managed to obtain from the cave area. Anyway, they don't even all fit. Get out of your mind, Gert. Mmm. You too, cobblestone. <sighs> it's not all gonna fit. <laughs> I think it's pretty much full up. Yeah. Oh, we have 64 hoppers. Sweet. But there's only 47 left. Yeah, I guess that was comparators. Whatever. Where'd that chest go? Here, chest. Need another. Boom. Too much loot. Not enough space. <laughs> Alright. Now, we brought with us a lot of material to build this thing. Unfortunately, I have no idea where I put it. Hmm. Let's get food supply. I'm looking for a red sandstone. Yeah, I left it over there in that chest. Get it back. From this vantage point, that was a big explosion. <laughs> yep. And with horses, you can see that I planned it to be bigger, <laughs> but I ran out of TNT. <laughs> so we only did that section. I grossly overassumed how much I had. Ain't bad. There's not that much left. I'm hoping I don't have to go into stripes.
Yeah, you know, when you're up there. That's where the roof is. I do not have enough block. No. No. Alright. Guess I'm going back to main base. I kind of want to make this match, so. Well, that means I need to do another two layers of this. And four layers of uh, white. And a layer of red. And wood. If you know, you can't be something mad like a air. People will see it. And they'll slip their wrists. They have no way to fix it. I tried to see. Maybe I should go plaid. <laughs> that breaks some people. You know it would. Yep. Come on. Not enough Anderson to do another row, though. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit. Last one I used when I put those up. I'm up here. Might as well get down. I go down. I go all the way back to base. Jump on that pillar so we can take it out the way down. Genius, Mario, genius. Oh, 
I was like, right there. Oof. Hey, you guys spawning down there? No, 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 no. 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 I don't think those guys spawned up there. I think they spawned down here. Easy fix. I decided I don't like the wooden ring. I put this dirt thing all the way around. See it? Yeah. Then I'm gonna go down there and I'm punch out all that wood. I'm not gonna make you watch. Don't worry. Yeah. I don't think I have any supplies. I should put the roof on this thing. What do y'all think? Is the skirt too much? Stupid bunny. Yep. I'm looking pretty pretty up there. I'm actually quite happy the way that turned out. Now, the bottom looks a little longer than the top, and this angle, that's just the angle we're seeing it at. It is four on the top, four on the bottom. Two, two, one. And there's a layer of red, layer of red, and I added a skirt to the bottom. And the good news is, as I was on my way back to give you that nice visual, monsters were raining from the sky over here. goes. Now, clearly, one is not an impressive feat. However, one is not what we're getting. Yeah. Hmm. I've just got to find the optimal AFK spot. So I am clearly too close to the farm right here. That's not good. Ow! Hmm. I have guys fall right on the cactus. Then the impression of the. Ow! <laughs> I 
No, we're just gonna teleport to. Stop freaking out and die. Go do. That punk little. are definitely spawning and that's the good news the bad news is yeah it's not going very fast now there's one of two reasons why that could be one the skirt's not long enough the light's getting in there can't really tell number two dimensions are wrong and I built it wrong pretty good possibility you know I was on sword. <laughs> hmm. And option number three is I am not at the optimal location away from this farm. Now, finding the magical spot be when I measured this thing out. Down here should be in right around range. Everything up there to be in spawnable chunk. Hmm. Hmm. Damn, Enderman. I'm going to drown myself now. Yep. 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 Breathe in the water, boy. Breathe in. Let it take you. work that went into this. This is disappointing. That's two, three, four. Oh, that's a little better. Maybe it just takes time for it to keep going. they're getting some of the game getting destroyed by the tanks.
be right bad idea. I missed. Build myself a little shack. I'm gonna F tag. Let's see what we got. Pretty sure these bottom layers aren't working. And welcome back. This is my little AFK spot. And, uh, hmm, something got killed. It looks like a skelly. So, you may notice that the farm has changed a little bit since the last time you saw it. So, I'm gonna tuck the torches all off the sides. It was causing a light level increase in the green bottom layer. I don't know how it was like bleeding through. And I went, I actually built a dirt tower in. I was checking the light levels inside. And they also added this. So some mobs are still falling out, landing in here. This water pushes them back, drops them in front of the cactus, and kills them normal. Just to prevent the problem. It's still rather slow. But it's working. If I have to AFK here for, say, all night, this thing would put out decent enough stuff to keep me going as a solo player. But the amount of work I put into it... Okay. Yeah, that's the one issue. I'm probably gonna get rid of this entire ring. Now, I'm still debating actually whether I should go and put signs all the way across the little order so that the internet can't have anywhere to teleport to. Because all the blocks around here are so far away they won't be able to teleport away. Okay? But they teleport up here. This is the only block in range. If I were to put this cover just with water, I don't have anywhere to teleport to. I may have to get a little moldy patch too, but that's not a thing. You may also have noticed that I went cray cray with the torches and lit up just about everything around here while in service. There's a few dark spots left, I gotta go deal with those, but yeah. All on attempts to boost efficiency. Some of it worked a little bit. Mostly, yeah, not at all. My chest are actually still down here. From there, from there. And this is where I filled everything in it. Drop some torches over there. Eh, doesn't matter. It's 
Well, I can't really tell if I'm just too close or not. See, it looks closer than it really is. Because I know from the surface of the water, that is 40 blocks up. And I'm fairly certain. Fairly. And then 35 blocks away, miles will spawn. So every one of those platforms should be good to go. I also removed all the blockings that went across here when I was putting up the top rings. They were blocking off some pads up there. <clears throat> yeah. I think I know where he's at. See that? What happens to spawns over there? They all need to be in there. I'm right. No, he's not in here. Right. That means I have another spot where they can teleport to. And I gotta find it. I did have to leave his spots behind the cactus. It's possible he's down there on the other side. I guess I could make it one lower. Eh, I don't know. Giant slimes are mocking me. I'm not coming for you. And what we're gonna do is a one hour power hour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the farm, get my little square, build my little box around me so nothing can get me, just in case. And I'm gonna empty out my inventory first. Once I do that, I'm gonna wait for one hour. We're gonna have to find out how many units per hour this thing gives me. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, I believe we have reached our one hour point. Now I did have to restart this. Uh, had a minor issue during the first recording, but it has been an hour. And apparently it's nighttime now. Wonderful. Alright, so. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Huh. Well, it's not great. Not gonna lie, it's not great. 46 bones. I have a better way of getting bones soon anyway. Gunpowder, 45. That's not too bad. I prefer a whole stack after an hour. But, okay. Two squids. Ha. Huh. One sugar. Three glowstone, three redstone, two sticks. That's all witches. 41 arrows, 54 dead zombies, five spiders, and apparently Enderman had been with my cactus. And she's still going strong. So let's see which cactus got eaten. Yeah, right, apparently they're not taking the bottom cactus. As long as I don't take the bottom cactus, the cactus regenerates, and I've also got a cactus farm going. With incredibly slow rates. Alright. <clears throat> Not the best in the world, but does the job. So it's going to be generating me gunpowder. It doesn't generate me redstone. It doesn't generate me glowstone in any meaningful amounts. I don't want to go down there. No, no, out, no. <laughs> Alright, now you may notice, or you may not, but I'm hoping that the sound quality is a little better than it has been. So, let me know. I will be double checking when I review this video. But in hopes, the hope is that the slightly modification I've done to this microphone should, should, air quotes, make for a better experience for you. <sighs> I'm not 100% sure yet. So, after seeing this, 
I am 100% certain that we're going to be building those two other farms.